this car. Okay, this looks like a place. Oh, go ahead. Road here. We got an email. I'm bringing Brad here. Very important email. Gotta get him. Brett. <laughs> Sorry. I knew, I knew you were coming up today, but I didn't know you were coming up right now. Okay. Um, so, important email, man. I had to come all this way to get this to you. Okay. Uh, I'm viewing your videos, demonstrations to how uh, to sharpen a knife. Um, it's now become a joke. Okay. I can't, <laughs> no, that's funny. I cannot get even a slight burr. Uh, this, very, this is this very disappointing. I hope, uh, I don't think this person is from the United States. Um, the words are kind of there, but not all there. Okay, cannot even get a slight bird this very disappointing. I hope you will reply soon regards Colin. Okay. Um, now, well, I, yeah, guess, uh, I, I, don't, I don't actually take care of the uh, emails, so I'll have to get together with Chance. Well, I have, an, maybe, maybe I have an idea what he's doing wrong or anything, or? Well, if you can't even get a burr, okay, there's there's three things, okay, it could be a super hard knife, could be a really thick blade, it could be extremely dull, maybe he's not pressing hard enough on the sharpener, maybe he's not allowing enough time with enough pressure, so there's actually many things that it could be, well, just I'll have to discover more by asking questions and... You can't just give an answer to that. It's, it's right. you know, it's like a five-headed snake. Well, it's always good seeing you. I'll let you know if we get any more emails from you. Okay. Yeah. All just right. let me know, and I'll, and I'll, All right. I'll help. Next time. All right. Back up here, in Cheyenne, looking for Brad again. I know he's around here. Yep. Yep. Brad. 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 <laughs> hey, hey, follow-up hey, email. Oh, follow-up email. Yeah. Okay. Woo! I had to run a long way that okay, time. Okay, hi Brad. Uh, it's a little after 1.30 in the morning here in the UK. Okay, isn't it? I mean, yeah, okay. Uh, all evening I've been trying to copy your system, trying to sharpen my knife. I'm sorry to tell you this. Uh, it's awful, mate. Okay? <laughs> uh, it's so blunt, I won't even cut a warm, cut a warm uh, okay, uh, cut into warm butter. Uh, <laughs> I am well pissed off. I have tried so hard to understand what I'm doing wrong. It's not uh, the it's not the tool. I know it's me. Okay, not using the tool correctly. Can you email me with any help? Uh, but will you reply in an email? Thanks again, Colin. Well, all right. Well, I, I'm just thinking. Okay, if your knife is getting duller, isn't it extremely obvious that? This is the cutting edge, and you got the tool tipped up too far. Uh, I've even seen, I, with my own two eyes, people at a gun show tip the knife blade up and run right down the blade. And, and I said, now, with a V-notch, that could have some merit. But with the open face, straight line side of it, my God, can't you comprehend that you just ripped the cutting edge off of that knife? So. All right, well, head on back, send him an email, and uh, we'll see what he responds. All right, okay. check it out. All right, so word has it he's here. Let's find out. Oh, oh, nice. Hey, has anyone seen Brad? Okay. Yeah, I think he's back there getting his kick broken at the pool table. Oh, thanks, man. All right. <laughs> All right. Yep. Look, I think you can win him the machine. Hey, Brad. Hey, how you doing? What are you doing? Hi, uh, I'm doing good. How are you doing? Good. Let's have a break. Uh, doing something that I never do. <laughs> I don't play anyway much pool. So, uh, let's see what we got here. Looks good. Hey, that's a good break. All right. Well, guess what, man? Oh, no. the email. <laughs> okay. Um, yep, Colin. And we, we, we already had an email. We had a little yep. bit of talk back and forth, starting clear back, I think, in January. 
And uh, so I get to be privy to some of these emails as we go, and then I get the fun of being handed something, and here we go. Okay, I'm sorry for sending you loads of emails about this. I'm sure I said <coughs> in my first email, it's most likely that I'm not using the sharpener in the correct way. I have tried to copy yours, Brad's, uh, way, okay, just cannot make it work. I would love to see Brad use the sharpener uh, okay, in one of the videos. That's cool. I can do that and that might be the easiest thing to do if I had the knife. He's in uh, England, so geez, I don't know. Okay, this has been quite a frustrating um, testing the stress level. All right, I have sat for quite a long time trying to achieve the same results as Brad. Um, I believe you have new product uh, sharpener. May I respectfully ask if it's possible to have one of these preferably red in color. Okay, so have, I guess. So yeah, he got the black foreign one. That's what he was struggling with. Okay, uh, I'd be happy to, oh, sing your praise and give Sharpen's Best a great uh, feedback for all the potential customers. Uh, it would be awesome to get uh, a mention and see Brad uh, deal with the sharpener. Okay, um, and so, uh, you know, unless the little guy can swim, it, it'd probably be better off to put it in the mail or the knife or something if I could get it because I don't have it. Um, so, okay, to be continued, I'm sure the emails will keep coming and we'll get something done. So this is Brad Buckner, SharpenBest.com. You take care and you stay safe out there. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. <laughs> oh boy, this is the exciting day. Brad. Guess what I can see in the computer. I'm Hi. here. That's me. Hey, how you look doing? Look at look at that is from Colin. Okay, that that's okay. This is Colin from uh, England and he's sending us uh, uh, he's got a, a knife and a sharpener and a knife that uh, So here we got okay. Um, that so isn't he did a black. Getting okay. sharpened. Okay, Warm. did you open this? No. I, I, you know what? I thought there was something funky about that. Well, it's it's been torn <laughs> all, all the way across there. You know, and I've heard from overseas customers saying customs possibly every oh, now and well, then. You know, in England and stuff they would because you can't have a knife, you know, whatever you... Uh, actually, I think they're going to start outlawing butter because butter causes you to go get a knife. <laughs> And then they're talking about outlawing milk because butter comes from milk, so milk must be the contributing factor of butter, and butter causes you to get a knife, so yeah, let's not even go there. All right, anyway, it's open. Okay. So, uh, all right, well, this is the knife, okay, and, uh, well, oh, come on, you've got to be shitting me. All right. Oh my. Obviously, it can make, and that's the tip. All right, I would not do that if I thought I had a chance of making a two inch gash in my arm. Uh, good Lord. First place, it's super, super thick. Um, it looks like it's been ground down, which made it thicker. And if you're gonna grind it down, grind it thinner and reprofile it. Uh, but, so first know, thing, I, hold on, Brad. First things first. Uh, man. What, what we, oh. there, you, hold on, no. Before that, what's the contents of this package? Well, it's nothing but the knife. And he said he was gonna send the sharpener. And look at the, the look at the other email, please, okay. and let me I'm, see what was supposed I'm to be. I'm trying to add this. Okay. Uh, okay, uh, dear sir, I recently purchased a knife sharpener. No, that was it. Huh? The other one. Okay, the, one the one that I was had, looking at yeah, first. Do them with that. Okay. See? All right. Well, there's the picture. Okay. And so that's uh, supposedly this and this. Okay. Yeah, it should have been in there. So the, the uh, knife boo. Yeah, the knife sharpener's gone, but the knife is still there. Um, that seems weird. Yeah, it is. Uh, but that's terrible. that's the order of things. Okay. Okay. Well, we have a note. So we have a note. All right. We have to get to the note. Oh, this is where I'm interested. Okay. Oh, turn it right side up. Okay. Um, and it, it will just say it's from Colin. Then we'll get off of his uh, address. There's uh, Colin. Look at the first sentence. All right. And then so, the, okay, the first sentence. 
Okay, enclosed are two items, huh? Ah. <laughs> okay, uh, my knife and the sharpened spark I purchased from you uh, that you suggested I send uh, these two, and hopefully uh, you can achieve razor sharp. Um, okay, I, I like how people say razor sharp no matter what. Okay, well, when you have something, I'm gonna hold still, come down here and take a look at this, and look how thick. I'll turn it a little bit. Turn it a little bit, turn it a little bit. Okay, oh. that blade is, is, is thick as a railroad iron. Okay, that'd be about like trying to sharpen a jack handle. But we're gonna work on it. Okay, anyway, razor sharp edge. I'm quite sure many, I'm quite sure my many attempts to get it sharp, get the blade sharp, uh, and my lack of experience and technique, you know, didn't get it done. I do not require a refund, faulty sharpener or not, and it's not ever the sharpener, except and I've got to find the sharpener, I've got to get it because there is a sharpener and you're going to laugh when you see it when we say this sharpener doesn't work. Okay, so I've got to stop saying it's never the sharpener. All right. Um, I ask, uh, let's see, I ask for your new sharpener, the red one. Uh, he shows a black one there. Well, the red one isn't the new one, the black is the new one, so there's a little confusion there. Okay. Uh, Three o'clock in the morning after a couple of brews, Colin may not be the way to handle it. Um, so anyway, the sharpener, okay, long. Um, uh, I ask you for the new sharpener, the red one, with the longer handle. I'm really getting confused because the original is the sharpened spark, the red one with the long handle. Okay, and that's obviously not this that he actually has. So follow with me here just a little bit. Um, you know, with the long handle, please, I am determined to use the sharpener and get better results. <coughs> I watch a lot of your videos and find uh, these very entertaining and amazed at all the great results shown using paper tests. I apologize for the many emails I sent you, and I think there has been a few uh, emails oh, yeah. that I sent you. <laughs> that's, that's right. Here's the, another email from him. Okay. Uh, um, okay. Hi, Brad. We'll get to that one in just a minute. Uh, for the many emails that I sent you, um, as frustration is an understatement, okay? Uh, in other words, saying that he's very, very frustrated that he's not getting what he should. Uh, I was getting angry with my incapability to use the sharpener correctly. Uh, I would love to oh, be the proud owner of a, uh, a buck 110, that's of course the buck hunting knife, um, with the uh, activated button, act, act, activation button, that's like an $80 knife. Um, okay, so in other words, it, it's a uh, finger open, you just push the button, it opens up, it's an open assist. Okay, uh, button, uh, would you be able to supply me with one of these, Brad, thanks. Uh, for your help and support, my regards and thanks, Colin. Uh, stay sharp and stay safe. Okay. All right. Um, so I guess looking for a sharpener free and looking for a free Buck 110 with this with the assist spring on it. Um, I, I don't know how that's going to turn out because, uh, like I say, those knives are about eighty dollars, um, and quite honestly. Uh, there's a possibility that, that that knife will never reach Colin because you're sending it to England and they're scared to death, they're terrified well, of look, look what happens. weapons, you know. Uh, uh, and this is a, a weapon, it's not a pocket knife, so I don't know, maybe I just make a declaration right now. Uh, Hi Brad, I, there it is. I'm not going to send you the knife, Colin. Um, okay, hi Brad. I, I guess my knife and sharpener has reached you by now. I'm really looking forward to seeing you work on my knife, and I guess we'll use uh, the video to show other customers the jerk from England, uh, sad attempts to sharpen a knife, <laughs> i.e. could be good selling point. Um, it would be awesome. Uh, can I ask you for your newest long handle sharpener I saw? A YouTube video when you guys demonstrated the correct way to use the knife sharpener. Uh, he mimicked your technique very well. Oh, I the yeah, I get it. Um, the guy who did the uh, review on the sharpener, so it wasn't me that did it. It was another person. Uh, 
and using your words, he actually achieved a good result. Um, and uh, assume you've seen the video. Okay. Yeah. So, anyways, uh, so I will use your knife. This is quite the story knife. now, man. This has been going on for a while. Yeah, this is almost epic, uh, an epic story. Okay. Here. Oh, um, there it is. So, and uh, he didn't get the uh, the one that he the package there, which means. You're well, gonna only have to demonstrate with one like it or anything. Well, anymore. yeah, and and then that sort of almost defeats the purpose because if they actually said the sharpener they was trying to use, then I can claim, well, you know, it was the sharpener and this one's going to work as good, and maybe the one that got sent was faulty, and I'm trying to cover up for that. I don't ever do that. Uh, so let's see. First of all, I'm going to have to crank on this one pretty hard, and I'm going to use the V notch. Because if you can literally see your reflection in the cutting edge, it's pretty wide, broad, and flat. Um, so, as thick as that blade is, this particular knife, I would say personally, hasn't been sharpened right for a long time because it just keeps getting thicker and thicker. All right, so, uh, I guess, and this is... Um, this is the one I'm going to use, I think, and I guess I'll use a new one. Uh, so let's depackage it, defoliage the sharpener. All right, so let's do that. Move some stuff out of the way. Unscrew the sharp and spark. So of course, that's your fire starter. We'll go ahead and scratch it a little bit. There comes. Oh, shit. There's my desk. <laughs> I forgot. There's 4,200 degrees there. Um, so that's that's in there. You know? And then we give it just a little snug. All right. It does have the bottle opener. It does have the V notch for actually reshaping uh, blades. And if you're real gentle with it, you can actually do a kitchen knife and do the whole thing in there. Or you can use this side and carve on it, you know? And. Uh, I caught a, a sharpening uh, video the other day where the guy claims the only sharpener that'll sharpen uh, serrated edge blades is that guy's sharpener, 100% wrong. And he says it over and over and over. Well, you can bullshit the people out there, but you can't bullshit me because I've been sharpening serrated edge blades for a very long time. And I do it with the open face straight line corner and I do it really easy, okay? So, all right, let's... Uh, Paper under, test. Huh? Paper test. All right. Uh, use his email. I'm going to use his email. Deserves shredding anyways. Yeah. <laughs> so let's see. Okay, hang on just a second. We're going to take the time to make a video. All photography likes light. Oh, but it hates backlight. Oh, no. Shut it? Yeah. All right. Look, watch. Okay. We go from silhouette to... Not so silhouette -y. Okay, so in this case, those covers are working out perfect for us. Oh, cripes. I don't even know if I should edit this part or just laugh at you. And, and, and one of these days, we're going to do a video on the telescope that you buy on the email. $5,000 telescope. Bullshit. All right, so let's see. If you guys would like me to start a series that says you piss me off, <laughs> Let me know in the comments below because when you do as much as I do, go as many places as I go, buy as much stuff as I do, you're going to find places where you can say, you piss me off. All right. Oh, this is oh never... you got one thumbs up already over here. I want to see that series. All right. This is never going to work. Never, never. Well, never. Colin's right. That couldn't cut warm butter. No, it couldn't. You'd have to put on gloves and push hard or bang on it with a hammer to get the butter cut. Oh. All right. So let's. He must uh, be vegan. Let's rip. <laughs> at it. Okay. I'm going to lean it over. What, just explain to me bit. now what's happening. Okay, I'm going to run the blade through there. This has two sides to it, so it's going to uh, cut on both sides at the same time. All right. And so this is about a 20, 22 degree, uh, 11 on each side, 10 on each side, something like that. This is probably 35, uh, if not 30. <laughs> at least 35 degrees, 17 and a half on both sides. So I'm going to catch the metal shavings as much as I can 
All right. So I'm going to tip this over to the side, let it hang out off the uh, desk like that. I tip them a little bit, and then I'm just going to start running this through there like that, okay? And then I hope that I catch, you know, as much shavings as I can. And it's not an expensive knife. It's uh, something beta. Stainless steel. Doesn't say 440, 420 or whatever, but I assume it's probably 440. Uh, it does have a number, 1778B. So beta, 1778B. Look that up if you guys want to know what I'm working on. Okay, so I'm just going to start. And it's soft. I can tell because I'm really cutting some metal. I can feel it biting. It's not trying to skip and slide off the blade. So right now, I'm just cutting the sides down, reprofiling the blade, trying to get it back to more like a 22 uh, inclusive, which is 11 on each side. So we're just going to run it through here. All right, I'm going to hold still, and you can look at look at all the shavings in the V-notch and on the blade, and that's what I want because I actually have to take some metal off of the blade if I'm ever going to achieve sharp. So just like that, don't press too hard, let it work, don't make it work too hard. Oops, I'm missing the paper completely. I should have looked down there. So just like this. Yes, it is gonna leave some chatter on the blade. Don't go too fast, don't press too hard. Let it work, so to speak, don't make it work. Just like that. Oh no. Oh no. Oh no. So just like this. I'm going to hurry it up just a little bit. And it would be a little bit easier if I had the longer, the sharpened spark, longer handle one. So just like that. Just like this. I know there's a, a lot, yeah, you can see it. Um, I know there's a lot down there and I'm trying to hit the paper as much as I can, but just like this. And this is one of the times that I'm glad I actually have the V-notch because when the blade needs to be resharpened, reshaped, reconfigured, reconstructed, whatever you want to reprofiled, um, just like this. And if all I had was the, the open face straight line, it would sure take longer. Uh, to get this done, Jesus. Yeah. <sighs> Alright, so let's just try not to make this a half hour video. Just like this. Although I have been told on some of my videos, make longer videos. I guess people like it. Um, if you keep talking, you keep giving information, you keep telling people some things that maybe they need to know, ways they can fix their problems, ways they can sharpen their knife. Now, I'll be absolutely honest with you. If I was at my house, I'd take my little work shirt belt sander, and I would reconfigure this blade quickly with the belt sander instead of my sharpener. I'm not so ignorant that I would say, oh no, all I ever use is my sharpener. If you're out and about somewhere, then yeah, you can just keep picking away at it. That's as much as I've caught on the paper. You can see there's actually some pretty good ones. Okay, we'll just go around and pick it all up. <laughs> How funny, yes, it did magnetize the knife. And yes, it is cutting off some pretty serious pieces and that's good. So I'm going to keep it up here, see if I can get this done without banging into the desk too much. Like I say, I'm really glad that the V-notch is here this time. Now Colin, I, I'd have to say that if this knife was actually that blunt when you started, uh, it would take you a long time. And I wish I had the sharpener that you supposedly were using and sent me because I would look and see for evidence of cutting and scratching and stuff in the V-notch or along here because personally I need to know how much you actually attempted to sharpen it or did you just kind of sucker me into sharpening your knife uh, and not send me the sharpener at all 
Um, that sounds like a jerk. Yeah. Um, <laughs> Just playing. You know, and, and I'm Thanks not trying health. to get out of anything, but you know, there's a lot of pieces to this puzzle that I can figure out as to what might have happened, what is said to have happened. Um, you know, it's it's like a blind man saying, "I'm going to judge the art exhibit." It's probably not going to go well for the contestants. You know, uh, so unless it's uh, sculpture. Uh, and it still isn't going to go well. It could be scratch and sniffs. Yeah, there's, uh, and if, if he actually used it, used it as much as I'm doing, and worked hard to remedy the situation, which is get the knife sharp and it was dull. Um, all right, let's see. I don't want to tip this one because I'm actually getting a lot of metal. Okay. It at least catches now and does cut. So I'm getting more leery of doing this to my arm. <laughs> if you screw it up, you're really going to bleed. That'd be bad. Go to the doctor. <laughs> well, I was chucking a knife to see if it was sharp. <laughs> yeah, we got a ward right over here for you. Come on, let's uh, help you. All right, so let's see if I can rip some more metal off. When they're that thick, you really got to move some metal. Here's a quick explanation. Let's say the cutting edge was two thousandths of an inch thick. You have to take at least one thousandths of an inch off of this side, one thousandths of an inch off that side on the right bevel so that you end up in the direct, like the apex center of the blade. So let's say if it was actually three thousandths of an inch thick, you'd have to take one point five thousandths off of this side and that side to actually mill 1.5 thousandths of an inch off of that knife by running it through that V is a lot of work. So, for you guys out there that know anything about your math, uh, if I said something wrong, leave it in the comments below. Are we live or just making a video? We're just making a video right now because okay. i got to add all that other stuff to the That's beginning. Right. Okay, yeah, to all the other times we said hello. So just like that. All right, let's see. If I can finesse an edge, and I have to hurry because the first of uh, April I'm headed for Puerto Vallarta for four, uh, 17 days. So, can't arriba! Be you know, so just like this now. Okay, so what are you doing got, now? You taking the? Okay, so I've got the uh, 90 degree corners here. I'll hold still so you can see. There's one over here and one over there. The 90 degree corners are just like the back of this knife. There's a 90 degree corner there and a 90 degree corner there. So if you come out straight. 90 degrees over and then 90 degrees back you have two 90 degree corners on there and I find at the gun shows and stuff people evidently can't see because I'll show them 90 degree corner and they'll look and they'll go I just I, I don't see what you're calling a 90 degree corner I said well take a board run it through a table saw stand it up you're gonna have flat 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 these have got to be 90 degree corners you'd be amazed how many people look at it and go I guess but boy I don't see it so I've started kind of snickering, saying, well, what can you see? <laughs> you see a car, <laughs> you know? Um, you pissed just, me off. <laughs> yeah, you pissed me off, <laughs> you know? So just like this, like this, like that. We are getting a really point, I mean a, a sharp point on that knife, just like that. Okay, so I'm going to come back this way towards my finger. I pick it up, move out, set down, pick it up, move out, set down, pick it up, move it out, set down, slide back, like this. I go along faster than most people do, just like that. I don't go along half-assed. I go along whole fast so just like that. All right, like this, like that, like this, like that. Flip it every pass. Don't press too hard when you're using the open face straight line carbide, just like that. Uh, now let's see, first of all, this is what a lot of people like to do. Okay, you see why it, okay, you see that it jerks as it goes across my, my thumbnail? That's because it's actually stuck and it's taken the thumbnail off with it. Okay, so now we have that. When I tell people at the shows, I am a master at sharpening. I'm also a master at cutting paper. Um, just the way you handle this, the right pressure, the right angle, the right bevel, the right degree, the right speed, 
you don't have to get it all perfect, but you cannot come up past the apex. Okay, that's the actual sharpening area, the, the real sharp part of the blade. So you have to stay at about that, okay? And because this is such a, it's actually, I think the word is convex. It goes round all the way out to the point. So there is a secondary bed, uh, bevel on this, uh, the degree, the angle secondary. Um, so let's do this just a little bit more. A little bit more, I'll slow down. Okay, we're taking, there's a 90 degree corner, 90 degree corner. Touch the 90 degree corner on the cutting edge. Match the bevel, looking in your way would be about like that. Okay, I let it turn a little bit. Come back here where it's kind of comfortable. I hold the sharpener with my thumb and index finger and middle finger. Sometimes I'll touch it with my ring finger. Do not ever get up here like this. Don't get a hold of it like that. I want it to kind of sort of be floating, float, floating-ish <laughs> in my fingers so that it, it can find its own uh, firmness to be on the blade. Just like that. Flip it over like this, like that. Okay, now I'm going to polish the wire edge off of the blade. This would have uh, probably taken literally half a day if I hadn't have run it through the V-notch. And then we will look again at the metal. Okay. Okay. So there's all, there's all the metal, little curly. That's not all because a bunch of it went on the floor. In fact, I could probably pick it up with the knife. All right, now we just polish the wire edge off of the blade. Touch it real, real, real light. You guys watch my videos, you're gonna see I move along probably 10 times faster than other people sharpening. And Colin, that could have been the problem. If you're trying to look at it, match the bevel, and then you're only going this fast, it would literally never happen. You'd never, you'd never get there. Okay, pretend you're in prison. And the warden has told you, here's a knife, this is how dull it is. It's made out of the hardest metal you can make a knife out of, and you get out of prison when that thing will slice paper. You'll get to work and get her done. Believe me. Alright, so let's see. Oops, tore the, if it'll tear, it'll cut. Okay, I'm actually sort of amazed that a blade that thick will do anything. But that's how I did it. I run it through the V for a while first. I pressed on it hard enough to really cut some metal off. And then I took it and I run it like this. I uh, actually used more pressure at first. Turn it over and do the same thing on that side, do it on this side. Then I'll flip it every pass, touch it lighter, 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 because right now I'm just polishing the blade. Just like that. And let's see if I piddled with it just long enough again to make it good and sharp. Oh, it is definitely getting sharper every time I mess with it. Okay, so this is Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com, and for as thick a blade as it is, it's definitely sharper, and it should hold up fairly well because it's so thick, it's not super thin. So Colin, uh, old buddy, um, hang on just, uh, maybe. Okay, it's got a it's got a, a wrench, open end box end wrench. This is the open end in a little square, so the open end of a box end wrench, and it says beta B E T A one seven seven eight B stainless. And there's no other words on the knife or anything. It's actually probably a pretty good knife, and it has the frame lock, the uh, assist open for your pants pocket, actually not your thumb. Oops, that didn't work well. Brad Buckner, sharpensbest.com. You take care, Colin. I hope you enjoy the video. And my friend, I hate to say it, but I am probably not going to go purchase a buck 110 with the uh, assist opening because, like I say, those are about $80. Well, he can always send it to and, anyone. can send any money to sharpensbest at gmail.com through their PayPal. There you go. And if 80 bucks shows up uh, from Colin, yep. then maybe, maybe we'll look for that. And another thing, too. Uh, I know you're doubtful to send that back to him, but oh. I think we'll play the, the mail game, man. Let's put it in the mail. We'll put it Let's in the mail. Put, we'll, send it back to him. Let's yep. add a, add a uh, replacement sharpener for the one that the uh, mail has obviously stole. Yeah. And um, 
and we'll video the package uh, with the tracking number on it and uh, get it mailed off and see. So Colin, you take care. Thanks for watching. Thanks for purchasing. And thank you for asking me to do that. We'll see you later.